Welcome viewers to TV Box Top, the channel for the best reviews in TV boxes and accessories. On today's video, I have a beautiful 27 inches widescreen gaming monitor from the makers of J Link. This is the J Link E27 QP4K gaming model. This model features 165Hz, 1ms MPRT response time, 2K QHD 1440p resolution, HDR display, eye protection, and sync technology. This model is designed for gaming as well as it's great at work-related activities such as video and graphics editing. So in this review, we look at its design, how to set it up, its input-output peripherals and of course I'll test its display quality. So don't go anywhere, that's up next. And welcome back. In this package contains the monitor itself, a metal support column with tilt and swivel feature, a heavy duty metal support base, one display port cable, its AC power cable, a 12 volts 5 amps 54 watts DC power adapter, a pack of screws, and your user manual. So before I assemble, let's take a look at its input-output peripherals. Starting from the left, you have its DC power input, one USB 2.0 port, one HDMI 2.0 port, two 1.4 display ports, and a headphone jack. So to assemble this monitor, the manual states that you first attach the column to the support base. Using the included screws, secure the column to the base from below. Next to the top of the column, there is a metal plate with two projections for securing it to the monitor and an easy release switch. You insert the projections into the allocated slots behind the monitor and press down easily to snap it into place. And that's it for the assembly. For adjustments, it has a 4.5 inches vertical height adjustment by effortlessly pushing down and raising on the tilt bracket. To adjust its screen orientation, it has a 90 degrees rotation in either direction to portrait mode. This comes in handy for advertising in stores, and it also comes in handy for vertical apps such as TikTok. For lateral adjustment, it has a 45 degrees swivel in either direction. And for front facing tilt, it has about a 25 to 30 degrees upward and downward adjustment. For lighting and RGB effects, to its rear has a pair of RGB lights to illuminate your backdrop with some cool lighting effects. Let's take a look at its settings menu. Using the control pad, press down on the OK button to bring up its menu. The settings area is divided into display, color, gaming setup, input, system settings, and user data. Under display, you can adjust its brightness, contrast, black equalize, sharpness, and aspect ratio, or you can select from a number of presets. Under color, you can adjust its color temperature, gamma level, hue, saturation, and low light settings. Under game settings, you have free sync or G-Sync options, overdrive, game plus, HDR, DCR, MPRT, and RGB light settings. Under input, you can select between its HDMI and display ports manually. Under system settings, you can change its language, on-screen duration settings, audio, you can reset all settings and upgrade its firmware via USB. And under user data is where you can save your various settings under different profiles. Please note, I've checked its settings extensively and it does not have any built-in audio even though Windows detects its hardware. Apparently, there are no speakers installed. Under display settings, you can change its refresh rates up to 165Hz at 1440p resolution. Let's now take a look at the quality of its display during this 4K AV1 HDR video playback.
So its color gamut is rich and its lumens are very bright. Even at a 45 degrees angle, you can still get a clear and bright picture. Here, it's rotated to 90 degrees vertical portrait mode with the PC's display also set to portrait and it works perfectly for apps such as YouTube Shorts that are designed to run on vertical displays such as mobile phones. At 165Hz, this is what its gaming quality looks like. This game is called Grid 2 and I maxed out every settings for the highest possible graphics display and this monitor displays it smoothly. This camera I used in this demonstration didn't do much justice to this monitor. You should see how it really looks with your naked eyes. So thanks for watching. Give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed the presentation. If this is the first time you're viewing one of my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell before leaving to keep in the loop as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks again for watching, stay tuned and see you in the next one.